Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make a super cute little shelf sitter. So I grabbed one of these houses from Dollar Tree. This is one of the bigger sized ones. They come in three different sizes. This bee napkin that I got at Marshall's. This oval flat wooden cutout. Some jute. Some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. Some brown wax and some white paint. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the back off of my little house. So I'm just gonna heat it up and I used a palette knife to push through it and pop the back off. Once I had it all popped off, I'm just gonna peel off all the excess paper that was all falling off anyway. So it's ready to peel off, so I just peeled that off. And then I'm gonna take a sanding block and I'm gonna sand down the back and I'm gonna sand the edges of the house. Once I had it all sanded, I'm going to take the brown wax and I'm going to stain the whole house. I'm also gonna stain the edges only of the back piece because once you place it back together, it needs to match the actual house. So just around the edges of that. And here it is all stained. And as you can see, I did the edges of the back piece. So when you line them up, they match. Next, I'm going to take that back piece and I'm going to lay it on my scrapbook paper, trace it and cut it out. And then I'm going to Mod Podge it onto the back. Once I have that all Mod Podged on, I'm going to take it and I'm going to hot glue it right back on to the house. So I'm just going to run a bead of hot glue around and then I'm going to place the backing back on. I'm going to press really hard to make sure that it gets a really tight fit again. And there it is, back in. Next, I'm going to take that oval that I had and this is just a flat, oval cutout. I believe I got it at Hobby Lobby. It could have been from Michael's also. I'm not really sure, but you could use a square, an oval, whatever you have. And I'm just going to paint that white. And I'm not going to paint the edges because they were also like a stained color. So it matches the house that we just stained. So I'm just going to paint the top white. Once I have that all painted, I'm going to put a nice layer of Mod Podge on there, and I'm gonna Mod Podge my B napkin right onto the oval. So I had just cut out a small section of my napkin, and I'm just gonna lay that right in the center of the oval, and I also did peel the layers of the napkin, so this is one ply, and I'm gonna get it lined up nice and neatly right in the center, and then I'm gonna smooth it out with my fingers. Once I'm done smoothing with my fingers, I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to add a little heat to it. That helps it adhere better. And as I'm running the heat on it, I'm just going to use my finger to smooth it out more. This helps get rid of some of the wrinkles that you might have, although I'm totally okay with a few wrinkles. Next, I'm going to take my sanding block and sand off the edges to get rid of the excess napkin. And once I have it all sanded off, I'm going to take that little oval and I'm going to hot glue it right to the center of my house. So I'm just going to hot glue that right in the center. And how cute is that? And I love how well it matched the background with our scrapbook paper. Next, I'm going to take that little twine bow that I made and I'm going to hot glue that to the top of the oval. I was going to wrap the oval in twine, but I just feel like that just didn't look right. So I'm just going to take that little bow. I'm going to add that to the top. And I think this just turned out so cute. After I was done filming, I decided to add a couple of beads to the bottom 
of the bow that I made and they're just wooden beads that I stained with the brown wax and I think they really made the difference. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to make one and please, as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.